One of Britain's, uh, London's busiest shopping streets was brought to a standstill today as disabled protesters chained their wheelchairs together in protest at the government's welfare reforms. Sky's Katie Stallard was there and sent this report. Their aim was to cause maximum disruption, chaining their wheelchairs together and locking on to block the road. One of the busiest streets in central London brought to a complete halt in the time it takes to fasten a padlock. They're here because they say they're being ignored by the government over welfare reforms and they've had enough. A lot of people, a lot of the disabled people here have come from a long way. They've made a lot of sacrifices. This isn't easy for them to be here. Uh, even people like me with a lifelong condition that will never, ever go away, they're going to keep reassessing us for this benefit. As the buses backed up along Regent Street, no choice but to let off their passengers where they stood, police support vehicles began to arrive. Officers attempting to negotiate with the protesters. The problem for police here is they don't want to be seen to be being heavy-handed. They don't want to be filmed manhandling protesters in wheelchairs. So they're asking the protesters politely to move. The protesters are telling them to come back when they can say that in sign language. It's pushing hundreds of thousands of people into poverty as a direct result of the attacks on our disability living allowance. The government is saying that it needs to do it in order to help pay for the financial crisis. But we're seeing this attacks coming through in the same week we're hearing once again about million pound bonuses being handed out to the bosses and the bankers. The proposed changes to the welfare bill would replace disability living allowance with a new entitlement next year called personal independence payments. The changes would involve upfront medical tests and regular assessments for working people aged 16 to 24. But campaigners claim that would mean some single disabled people living in places like London would be left with as little as £25 a week after paying their rent. It would be great if we didn't need that benefit, but the reason we have it is because the cost of being disabled is more expensive. Disabled people need a little bit more help in terms of getting to work, help around the house. Um, and, and I think we've got a long way to go to make sure that we have a system that, that really works for everybody. The government insists it is absolutely committed to supporting disabled people and that the changes to the system will make it simpler, fairer and better suited to their needs. But this is a sight to strike fear into the heart of the most determined politician. And we've been here before. In 1997, when men in wheelchairs chained themselves to the gates of Downing Street, bearing placards declaring Blair doesn't care, he quietly abandoned his plans for welfare reform. Today the protesters left of their own volition after a couple of hours, but they say they will be back, that they will do whatever it takes to stop the government imposing its welfare reforms. This was just a statement of intent. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Central London.